Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert. In this video, we're going to be comparing Luna's API and Neve summing modules. We're going to be taking a look at them used on a number of different buses, as well as our main output, and listening to see what the differences are between these two legendary summing units. To load up a summing module is really simple. You just have to create a bus, send your tracks to that bus, and then here in this summing menu, we can control which different summing item we'd like to use, either the API or the Neve. We can also use a summing on the master output as well. And as you can see, I currently have the API summing selected. So let's take a listen to the track with the API summing currently on all of the tracks. And then we'll go between the Neve and we'll listen to individual buses as well. And now let's listen to the Neve summing. And lastly, let's listen to the track without any summing at all. So my first impressions are the summing definitely adds a lot of character with each individual module. I think that the Neve one sounds a little bit warmer and definitely adds a lot of glue and some more depth to all of the tracks, whereas the API seems to be a little bit more punchy and a little bit clearer. So I definitely think having summing over not having summing is a huge benefit and one of the really great features that we get here with Luna. Let's dive into some of the individual buses and have a more detailed and focused listen as to how the API and the Neve very. Let's start off with the drum bus with the API summing module. And now let's hear it with the Neve summing. So as we can see, the Neve module did actually add a little bit of clipping and it went into the red. That's why we have this trim knob here so we can bring back the overall level because these API and Neve summing modules are giving more level via saturation. This is not a bad thing though. The great thing about the summing modules is it gives us more headroom and this is great for down the line with mastering and it also improves the overall crest factor across the entire mix by rounding off some of the peaks and giving it a little bit more glue and depth. If we click on the HR knob, this is a headroom control, and this goes from 4 all the way up to 28 decibels. The higher the setting, the more headroom and the cleaner the signal. So let's boost our headroom and hear how it changes the overall sound. So as we can see, when we boosted the headroom, we actually get a lot more headroom on our actual levels and our fader here. And this is something that'll be great down the line when we want more limiting capabilities. We also have impedance toggle here with the high and low circuits, which can change the sound of things quite a bit. We don't have that option on the API as we can see. And then we basically have our in or out switch on both here. Let's head over to the API now and play around with the headroom control on the API summing module. And let's do one last thing and remove all of the summing and hear how it varies against the no summing API and Neve summing. So 
So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next one.